we will be discussing CYSA002 exam questions. Let's move towards our first question. Which of the following would most likely be included in incident response procedure after a security breach of customer's PII? PII stands for personally identifiable information. Let's look into our options. A. Human resource B. Public relations C. Marketing D. Internal Network Operations Center Since the question is being related to the customer's personally identifiable data, so in an organization we will be having a team or a body which will be representing all the public affairs. So for that particular part, Public Relations Department will be included in the Incident Response Procedure in order to represent the company to the public. So that's why the correct answer to this question would be Public Relations. Let's move ahead with our next question. In which of the following malware analysis approaches, analyst runs the sample in carefully controlled and monitored virtual machine to observe the software behavior? Let's look into our options. A. White box testing B. Fuzzing C. Sandboxing D. Static code analysis Since this question is asking an approach of an isolated and a controlled environment which is basically being used in order to run and test the malware's behaviors and the changes. So, the best suitable option among the given four options would be C. Sandboxing. Sandboxing is an approach in which we basically have an isolated environment where we run, test the malwares, we analyze the malwares behaviors. Let's move ahead with our next question. A cybersecurity analyst is dissecting an intrusion down to the specific techniques and wants to organize them in a logical manner. Which of the following frameworks would be the best apply in this situation? Let's see our options. A. Pyramid of Pain B. Mitre ATT and CK C. Diamond Model of Intrusion Analysis D. CVSS V3.0 Since this question is asking towards the techniques being used by the attackers, and we do have one framework which is dedicated to the tactics and techniques of attacker that is MITRE ATT and CK that is MITRE ATT&CK. So for this particular question, the correct answer would be MITRE and ATT&CK. MITRE and ATT&CK is one of the platform being created by MITRE Corporation in order to understand the techniques, tactics and the common knowledge against the adversaries. Let's move towards our next question. Which of the following secure coding techniques can be used to prevent cross-site request forgery? Let's see our options. A. Input validation B. Output encoding C. Parameterized queries D. Tokenization Since this question is asking towards cross-site request forgery, we can do apply tokenization in our queries in order to prevent cross-site request forgery. That's why the correct answer to this question would be D. Tokenization. Let's move towards our next question. Which of the following policies would state an employee should not disable safeguards such as host firewalls and antiviruses on company system? Let's see our options. A. Code of Conduct Policy B. Account Management Policy C. Password Policy D. Acceptable Use Policy Since this question is talking about the do's and don'ts and what things are being accepted in the organization which users or employees can do and what things are not being accepted in the organization. So, this will fall under the category of acceptable use policy and that's why the correct answer to this particular question would be acceptable use policy. So these were the couple of questions for preparing you for CYSA002 exam. We'll meet again with different sets of new questions. Thank you.